I gotta see some of these posts we're talking about. And one! Pace, come on, bro. I'll just put you on the block. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to just like, teach me a little go to move. Good, good, push, good. Yeah, I think it's really important to watch film just to break down the little details of a game and just try to get better from that and then watching opponents, seeing their tendencies and what they like to do and just breaking it down from there and also watching other players and seeing how well they score, how well they defend and learning from that. Good, shot. This is Paige Becker's Film School, filled by Gatorade. And I'm joined here by Maya Najee. Great seeing you again. When little girls or little boys watch your film, watch you play, what do you want them to take away from your game? I think I'm a really hard worker. I play with a lot of passion. But at the same time, like, I'm a fierce competitor, but I respect all my opponents. If you come watch my game, parents are not going to see something they wouldn't want their kids to emulate. I want to be a responsible role model, a good leader on the court, communicator, shot blocker, rebounder, paint dominator, all that. <laughs> Sha Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> so your brother Zeke, now in the NBA, went to Arizona first. How confident were you that you were going to go to Arizona too? When I went on a visit, when he was about to commit, I kind of felt like the vibes, I wanted to go there. It wasn't like because Zeke went, I wanted to go. Mm -hmm. And I just kept getting better, and they kept getting better. They made their national championship run a couple years ago. It gradually, like, as the years went on, it started feeling like home. Do you like model your game after anybody? I really like watching Kevin Durant, Giannis, and Candace Parker, just because it's like the tall, versatile bigs. That's what I want to be like. Just want to continue to get faster, stronger, develop my mid-range, my three-point even more. I want to be like a, a matchup nightmare, you know? So like when UConn plays me, they'll be like, oh, who yeah, do we right. have to guard me? Like, <laughs> and Paige will be like, I got this. I'll be like, Paige, come on, bro. I'll just put you on the block. <laughs> we gonna see, we gonna see. I like I like to say, I like to take a matchup, see, see what happens. <laughs> All right, yeah, I gotta see some of these post moves you're talking about. <laughs> so we've had a lot of film sessions together. Dang, Kelly, <laughs> off the side of the backboard. <laughs> Your rebound, though. I think I had 30 this game. 30? <laughs> and one. And one! That was our revenge game on Tasca. What's your next big goal in basketball? Obviously, just getting a lot of wins at Arizona and coming in, working hard, earning my spot in the team, and doing whatever I can to contribute to us win a national championship. <laughs> we'll compete. We'll compete for sure. <laughs> uh oh. I picked her coast pocket. Coast to coast. I picked her pocket. What would you say like your go-to move is? My go-to move, honestly, I just like inside pivot because you can work with um, so many different moves from that. So I just usually start with the inside pivot, like jab, rip, step back. It doesn't matter. Oh my goodness, she's just too little. Who's like your role model in life? My parents for sure, but I'd say my brother because we live similar lives. He's been through all the things I'm going through now. He's taken the same path and he's always remained humble and hardworking and he's just like a, a big inspiration to me because we're growing up together, you know, we went through the same adversity and he understands me more than anyone else does. And I know like he made it big, he worked hard. And so it's just like, I want to do the same thing. You guys competed when you were younger. Did you like bust him up? Did he give you buckets? Like, how did it go? Uh, it used to be rough. Like, he would shove me, push me. He was too strong. Like, I'd be crying, stuff like that. <laughs> He'd be beating me. I'd be so upset. But after a while, like, I started getting better and better, you know, able to play against the girls as well and dominate. So, yeah. Did you get dunked on before? Yeah. Yeah, I would be yep. tight. Mm -hmm. Did you dunk on him back? <laughs> no. Uh, it's coming. It's coming. If you want to be the greatest, then you gotta study the grace. That means countless hours in the film room, studying our role models that paved the way and following in their path to greatness. It doesn't matter where you're from or what you look like. You too have the power within to overcome anything. Gatorade, fuel tomorrow. Here's a shooting bag. Oh, you pulling up. <laughs> I hit two in a row in that game. Up. Two in a row for the trail three. <laughs> I had a lot of short corner shots this season because they're, they're in the zone. They don't like to come out. Yeah. So he's knocking threes down this year. Mm -hmm. 
What's like your why for playing basketball? Like what's your motivation? I would say my family, but then I want to be a doctor after I play in the WNBA and all that. And so Okay, you be smarty <laughs> pants. And so just like the amount of people that I can help. Like my family were from Nigeria and so there's a lot of poverty and sickness. Just being able to give back to those people, like if I can use basketball to grow my platform and then become a doctor and be able to make a big impact with other doctors, set up clinics, you know, just change lives. That's my why. It's just the people I can give back to after the ball stops bouncing. And then the teammates I play with, my family, all my friends I meet along the way, like just being able to be an inspiration for young girls and just giving back to everyone that's put in time for me. Yeah, great good ball, ball movement. movement. Great ball movement. Who's the toughest player you've had to play against? Other than me in practice, you know? <laughs> when we played Sidwell, they're just really good. Also, Lauren Betts, she was just, she's just so tall. Like, it was yeah. hard. Jaden Donovan, she's really tough. Um, obviously, Keithy Rice is really good, too. What's it been like going from the high school spotlight to just blowing up in college? It's been crazy. You know, there's always a lot of pressure, a lot of expectations. But I try not to listen to it, just try to tune it out and just try to keep my circle tight and only listen to the voices that really matter. Because honestly, there's always going to be doubters and naysayers no matter what you do. Michael Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, they all had them. So being in the spotlight is tough, but you also it's also a big blessing just wanting to use your platform to the best of your ability, like you said. It's fun. It's fun, though. So your post moves, I'm gonna need to add a little something to my game, my bag, a little big guard work, so show me some moves. Yeah, I got you, let's go. So the post work, I'm gonna need you to just like teach me a little go-to move, whatever you got, I gotta see it. All right, and walk me through it, like yeah. talk me through it so I can understand. Okay, so get the ball. You gotta check your opponent, you know, if they're playing like super tight on you, it could be a simple spin back, catch them off guard. But if they're not, then you got an inside pivot, you know, maybe a little pump fake, maybe a little jab. Ooh. Then I like to come here with the crab dribble and then spin for the finish. Right. All right, wait, go ahead, show me. <laughs> pivot, you gotta look, the inside pivot, maybe a little jab, come here. Look the finish. Let me get some post work in. <laughs> Yeah. Inside? Yeah. This one? Ooh. Mm. Mm. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feeling pretty big right now. You could be like this. You pivot. Maybe a little shot. Maybe a little jab. But you could. Oh. Take a little step back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a big guard back. <laughs> I know that you could do that one. Yeah, this is more, more my style. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Now, like another one you could do, see, come here, right? You come crab dribble, fake spin. Oh, yeah. You can go hook. Let's keep the dream. Or come around again. Oh, yeah. Go I might, through. I don't know about the left hand hook. <laughs> left hand's a little iffy. Go there. Oh, left hand hook. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I was telling myself. Ooh. I was telling myself. <laughs> Yup, there you go. Hey. Tough. All right. I know you got the dirt fade in your bag. The dirt fade. You might need to teach me a little something about that. Yeah, all right, so let me do the dirt fade. So I just, you know, feel him, feel him. And then I took a dribble, jabbed at her, and she backed up, and then I just shot it. Yo, she did this as a point guard in high school no, in the yeah. post. Wild. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm Okay, it. okay, I gotta try that. See, I all don't right. know if this one gonna work. Dirt fade. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, Ooh. yeah. It's smooth. It's smooth. <laughs> We're in our post bags. That's a wrap for the Paige Becker's Film School, fueled by Gatorade. Thanks, Maya, for joining us. Thanks for having me. Peace. What's inside Maya Naji is inside you. Gatorade. Fuel tomorrow. Overtime Fits keeps blessing me with all these fits, and you can cop them, too. Head over to the OT shop and peep some of these new jobs. All you got to do is click the link below.